Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Cheapo time in the Cheapo Nation yet again. Wow, they just keep on coming. No shortage of Cheapos in Cheapo land. Love it, love it. In the Cheapo spotlight today, the all new Rushoi 33 digital multimeter, not auto ranging 2000 counts of Cheapo goodness. God, I'm saying Cheapo a lot. As always, what do you get in the box? Well, you don't even get a box now. This came in one of those little bubble wraps. Seen this more often uh, on those Asian releases, but you know what? If it keeps the price down, well, so be it. This little guy didn't even come with instructs. No, no manual, nothing. Oh, wow. But it did come with test leads. Yes, our famous or infamous Cheapo test leads. Uh, will they pass the poll test? Well, we'll soon find out. For those of you in the know, Rushoi is actually an offshoot of Victor. Yes, Victor is Rushoi, one and the same. Just a different name, part of the same brand. There you go. First impressions, well, you know what? Yeah, it has that cheap feel to it. What can I say? Very light. Um, plastics are definitely uh, the lower quality. Uh, no rubber boot, just that plastic, you know, polymar cheap style going on, but uh, hey can we say it doesn't come with a tilt stand yeah that's a big faux pas why don't they have a tilt stand even on a cheapy and in terms of price you know what i paid seven bucks canadian for this about five dollars us so whoa <laughs> it's cheap powered by one nine volt battery which did not come with the meter um but there you go yeah so a little encasement going on that is strictly a screw going into plastic so depending how often you change the battery you can have a little bit of wear and tear obviously Take a closer look at the rotary selector switch starting at the midnight or off position. Volts AC up to 600 volts. Transistor LED. NPN PNP. Resistance up to 2 mega ohm. Continuity and diode. Milliamps up to 200 milliamps. High current amps up to 10 amps DC. Finally, volts DC up to 600 volts. At the top of the meter, we have our HFE transistor uh, inserts. That's it, that's all. No other buttons or backlights. The bottom we have our inputs, three in total. High current on the left, in the middle are common or ground. Finally on the right are voltage, milliamps, and resistance. The range selector switch isn't half bad. Has a good clackety clack, clickety click. Will not get stuck between ranges and you can one hand it if you need to. So, hey, not too tab chabby, chabby. Oh, not too shabby for a cheapo. Okay, let's check out that display. Okay, 2,000 counts. It is bold, it is contrasty, chunky, and you know what? It fits the bill quite adequately. Yeah, yeah, that looks just fine. And yeah, we're not losing those digits no matter how we view the angle. So, oh, all in all, pretty decent little display. No backlight, but uh, yeah, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, let's start off with the DC accuracy test. Once again, those test probes are your standard sort of cheesy little test probe. It does pass the pole test though. Yeah, it ain't coming out. So that's a good thing. Uh, Plasticky, Cat 2, 600 volt, um, 10 amps. Well, yeah, take that with a grain of salt, but uh, that's what we're using. Already you know the drill. Five volts is what we want. 5.0, 1.0. Two, oh yeah, well, that's okay. Hey, it's in spec. Okay, quick DC voltage showdown. And yes, naysayers, I have brought a fluke into the equation. Oh my goodness, so many times I get people telling me, hey, why didn't you put it up against a fluke? You know what would have happened then. Yeah, I know. It would have beat that guy's... Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, so here we are, sitting at one volt, even Steven. 0.99 for Mr. Rishoy. And one even Steven for Mr. Fluke. <laughs> that ain't no fluke. Okay. By the way, the fluke costs about 200 bucks Canadian, about 180 US, $5 for the Rushoi. Here we go. Taking it up. Two volts. Two volts even Steven coming up as, what do we have here? 2.01. And 2.01, oh yeah, so close, so close. We're gonna call that one a draw. Up, up and away, 12.31 volts, according to the Siglin power supply. 12.38 for the Rishoi, 12.34 for Mr. Fluke. Up, up and away, let's hit 21 volts even. 21 volts even. There we go. And we are over limit on the Rishoi, so we gotta take it up because it is a non-auto ranging. 
21 even, and 20.9 20 for the Rishoy, 21.02 for the Fluke. Okay, let's max it out now. 32 volts even, Steven. 32.0 for the Fluke, and oh, come on, Rishoy. Finish off with a bang. And yes, I'm gonna give it to you, 32 point even. Well, 32 point, oh, that's so close. Okay, 31.9 to 32 for the Rishoy. So there you have it, a $200 meter versus a $5 meter. And in terms of basic DC voltage, hey, pretty well neck in neck. Now you don't have that nice high voltage enunciator like you do on the Fluke. No sort of warning on the Rishoy, but it only costs five bucks. Right now we're sitting at around 3.2 amps in high current mode. Now you can see with this little Rishoy, it's kind of neat what they've done if they've enabled that high current uh, here. So you put it on the 10 and you're basically in high current amp mode. Ooh, let me just make it so you can see it. There we are. So on the 10 is the high current amps and uh, 3.21 showing up on the power supply and coming up as about 3.24. Let's just take it down a little bit. Two amps even and looking good. One amp even, beauty. And now this has a 200 milliamp threshold. So we will try the milliamps. We're sitting about 170, 160 milliamps right now. So let's just go ahead and put the input into the milliamps. And bada boom, bada bang, gladna. There we go. 170, 169. And we will just bring it up incrementally here. 190. And 199. Remember, 200 milliamps. That's the threshold. And now we're over limit. So that threshold is holding true. So there you go. All in all, looks pretty good. And uh, hey, no issues. Love it. Already in terms of resistance accuracy, yeah, we're out about seven counts, six counts, but hey, in spec and not too shabby for a cheapo. Now, of course, this is not a true MS multimeter, uh, but still there we are in AC mode and uh, coming up at about 119 volts, give or take. Looking good. Already diode LED. Here we go, starting off with a standard diode. Are we gonna have any issues here? I sure hope not. No, no worries. Forward voltage drop, looking good. Onto the LEDs. And honest to gosh, I don't really know how this is going to do, but well, can't do much worse than the last cheapo we just reviewed. Here we go, green LED. And hey, we are getting a forward voltage drop and it is barely lit, but it is lit. Over to the yellow, yes, same thing, lit with a forward voltage drop. Oh, hey, the red, same thing, three for three. And the blue, hey, it's lit. And the white, it is lit, but no forward voltage drop. So hey, three out of five in terms of um, forward voltage drop indication and five out of five in terms of illumination. Holy moly, for a $5 cheapo. Gotta love it. Good voltage in dial mode. Oh, a healthy three volts, 2.97 volts. Awesome. Another neat feature is the fact that you have that cool little LED tester uh, in the HFE slots as well. Make sure you switch it to LED, put your collector and emitter in the proper holes and away you go that's telling us that we have a good led you can see it glowing awesome hey we got to do our continuity stock test leads three two one hey it's scratchy and it's pretty fast a little on the low side but you know what not so shabby let's try the probe masters now I know what you're saying. These probe masters, they cost like six times the price of the meter. True enough, but I'd be remiss if I didn't try them. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh yeah, went from latchy to latched. Oh, very nice, very nice. So once again, these probe masters make quite a difference on this little cheapo. It is fast, but it is definitely low. Almost inaudible, really. 56.3 decibels. Output volume in diode mode. Gosh, it really sounds louder. 56.3. Hmm. Already teardown time. Here we go. Back of the meter. And you can tell, yeah, no shielding. But oh, really, I wasn't that surprised. Now, you know what? If you did want to do shielding, here's just a piece of copper foil. Um, simply put, put it on the back of the meter. Now, I didn't measure it or anything. This is just a rough hack. 
but you get the idea and look suddenly we have shielding so hey it's a cheap fix but it works and you'd be surprised at the difference a little bit of shielding can make here we are on the inside and you know what this is not too shabby um i'm kind of impressed again once again five bucks for this roshoi i mean we're not breaking any beans here it is cheap as cheap can get powered by that nine volt battery um but at least it's housed rather uh, eloquently really it's not going anywhere and don't forget i don't have the cover on right now but i mean it's in there really good so uh excellent we have the split variety jacks no surprises here and i don't see any solder mishaps so they're uh, soldered in there quite well hey looking good now look at that oh yeah that's what i like to see what am i talking about well you gotta know it's that polyfuse right here resettable self-resetting 200 milliamp polyfuse so even if you do accidentally blow the fuse never happens to me oh really of course it does all the time why am I talking to myself? Shut up. Okay. 200 milliamps and it resets. It's a great, great, great idea. And I don't see why we don't see this a lot more on the cheapos. Hey, on anything. You know what? Replacing those milliamp fuses gets to be really cumbersome and expensive at times. So uh, if you're out in the field especially, chances are you're not carrying spare fuses with you. And if you blow the milliamp, hey, it's a pain. But look at that. Resettable. No worries. And these things have a long life, so you can set and reset multiple times, literally hundreds of times before that polyfuse is going to actually start to fail. So great to see. Okay, enough of that wonderful resettable fuse. Here we go with the high current shunt, and it has a dab of solder, giving us that extra resistance. Once again, nice attention to detail. And we do have a PTC, one little green PTC that is on the voltage side. So all things considered, wow. Wow, wow. There we go. That big UFO is actually the speaker piezo. Too bad it wasn't a little bit louder, all things considered, but hey, what can we say? Main IC was hiding under the speaker and it is cobbed, but to all in all, pretty decent. Used a nice little uh, bit of glue on the back of that as well, so not just a, a rubber standoff. So I like it. I like it. Here we are on the reverse side and look at those tracks. Yeah, they're actually greased. Oh, you don't see this usually on cheap meters. So once again, we're showing great attention to detail here. Love it, love it, love it. And as well, if we take a look, there is the balls and spring. Now something a little unusual, um, you'll notice, yeah, one ball is big, bigger than the other ball. So, uh, mm, interesting. And the back of that rotary selector is right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six pads. And once again, this has also been greased, if we can take a look at that. Yeah, so good attention to detail. Now, interesting that we have those little ball bearings that are uh, not the same size, but, uh, well, for whatever reason, they either route out of the same size or um, there's a, a reason for that. Hmm, interesting. Two different balls. Okay. All right, gonna put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Oh, almost forgot. There is our Elastomar, the strip that feeds the display, of course. That's what give us, gives us all of our display goodness. Okay, I'll shut up now. Closing thoughts on the Rishoy 33. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. What's not to like? It is a cheapo. Five bucks cheapo. Seven dollars Canadian. And it just bloody well works. Okay, it's not the greatest meter out there. Of course not. It's five dollars, but that's not what it's trying to be. It's just trying to be a good cheap electronics instrument testing tool, and that's exactly what it is. This thing is built. I actually dropped it, and you know what? Picked it up off the tile floor. Not a worry. So this thing is tough. Plastics are tough, and it's just gonna last. I honestly can't really think of anything negative to say. Yeah, it's non-auto ranging, so if that's not your thing, then move on. But if you don't mind playing with the range selector every now and then, this meter is gonna to definitely serve you well. The Roshoi 33 gets a solid four out of five stars. Hey, this is one great cheapo. Man, oh man, buy two, stick them in the toolbox, give one to your neighbor. They'll thank you for it later. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. To the next one. Keep on hey, testing. What? It's just an optical illusion. Those balls are actually the same size. Go figure. Uh, yeah, so, uh, hmm. all right, same size balls. Always a good thing.